What is good, Scorpio Soul Travelers? Bless and welcome to the Nushan Empress Oracle. We're going to be looking at your reading this week based on the full moon, warm moon that is, in Virgo energy. So we're going to be tapping in and seeing what's going on for you. Big changes. All right, so Star Temple Oracle is going to give us the main message. We'll then be looking into the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot and get a Celtic cross spread for you. Nine of Pentacles energy and Three of Wands. You're definitely looking for opportunities, it seems like, at this time, Scorpio. Maybe you're more money-focused, if you will. I have Queen of Wands coming out. Yeah, you were definitely looking to step into your power, you know, to take a leadership position perhaps um, in work. Maybe that's going to help you to be able to uh, make more money, if you will. Ooh, that's the truth. Yeah. All right, take that job that's going to bring you that money, that's going to help you to live that lifestyle, maybe, Scorpio, that you're looking to live, right? Be able to afford all those finer things that you love. All right, let's see what is going on also with the Vice Versa Tarot. Now, do bear in mind that these are general readings which may or may not resonate with you, but if they do in any way or you just love my vibe and me, thank you so much for hitting the like button and let me know down in the comments how this is resonating with you. Also, guys, you can check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos for more messages. Reach out to me at venusianways.org if you would like a personal reading. We will also be getting advice from our Moonology card, so I'll pull three cards from that and see what's coming out for you today, Scorpio. As always, we always get love advice messages from our Lover's Oracle cards. All the good stuff comes at the end, so do stick around. We will also answer your burning question, yes, with my handy dandy divination coin. Let us see what is going on, shall we? And giving thanks to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Star Temple Oracle, bring through the messages that is most needed for our amazing Scorpios. Hey Scorpio, thank you so much for all of the love you showed to me in your support by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, leaving comments, sharing these videos, your donations. Whoa, they are all truly appreciated. You are amazing. Let us see what is going on for you for this week, shall we? Big changes on the horizon, Scorpio. It looks like you're getting ready too. Maybe you were lost for a little while, caught up in a love situation, you know, and maybe got a little lost in that situation. But I feel like now you're ready to move forward and discover more about you and maybe do something more on your own. You know, spend some time alone at this time. All right, the energy coming out for you today is the triple star grid aligned. So you are definitely working on that alignment within yourself, right? From your mind and your, you know, upper chakras, your eye, your third eye, being able to see your heart, to be able to empower you to connect with your body. Three, 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 there's that triple grid so that you'll take that action that's needed, Scorpio, to bring that alignment of your dreams into place. So, this card says for your affirmation, I connect and align with my higher consciousness. And as you do that, you will receive the messages that you need. The morning star and radiance says, I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my birthright. So I feel like you're definitely in that charge energy, right? You're ready to burst out the gate, but we definitely got to make sure that we're in alignment first. I feel like you're definitely working on that and probably doing very well at it. Well, we have the oracle coming out here today in forecast. I am the oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. I feel like you are tapping into, you know, when you feel like something is right for you, it seems to turn out right for you when you follow that intuition. And I feel like that's the alignment that's happening for you right now that perhaps is going to help you to make a choice. And it could be around money. That's what I'm feeling primarily with your energy but that you're gonna be able to now move into that life you've always wanted, right? Four, five, six, <laughs> like 
nothing like magic. It, it's going to seem so easy. Star words unite clarity, inner knowing. Tigetta is calling you to unite with the triple star grid that encircles our precious Earth Mother, multi dimensional transformation, and higher streams of consciousness await you. You have the power to intentionally link into these electromagnetic, the electromagnetic halo of our sacred planet for clear cognitive messages. How cool is that? So you can just imagine this energy field around the earth and connect with that. Clear cognizance or clear psychic knowing is an intrinsic genius. Embrace it. Yeah, so when you start tapping into those messages like that Oracle energy and you're getting the messages that you need that give you that feeling, spirit lets you know when the time is to burst out of that gate. This is the moment. This is the moment. And it's like you're waiting for it. You've been waiting for the right answers, the right direction to move forward. And you are absolutely gaining that alignment and that momentum, right? The spiritual growth, your spiritual growth is being accelerated, <laughs> just like with that bottom energy, right? Morning star, because maybe you're dedicated to your morning practice even, you could do this in the morning, connect with that earth energy, and you know, with all that you're needing to know to help move forward in the most uh, aligned ways, if you will, yes. So everything will be easier for you, you know what I mean? Your spiritual growth is being accelerated so you can accomplish your higher purpose. Your stars are aligning and you are encouraged to balance your chakras for clear intuitive reception. It is your destiny to be of service to the collective. Whoa, look at you. All right, well, let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. You intuitive little badass, you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I do feel like, though, that you are connecting much more within yourself. Moon energy, you're being able to see through bullshit, illusion, this truth about situations and people and things like that. And even really trust more in yourself about what's right for you. Page of Cups. <laughs> and whether you should accept a, you know, this cup of love, perhaps. Maybe that's something that's on the table trying to perhaps distract you. And maybe that's what that would be, especially if you did get pregnant while you're in the midst of this energy. Ooh, did I call it or did I call it? <laughs> Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. It's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Feels like some distraction energy going on there to me. Maybe you're seeing this about somebody. Yeah, you are on your way, baby. Queen of Pentacles energy. Working hard at getting everything aligned just right so you can have all of that abundance flowing in is what I see, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles energy. You're all about the reciprocity. I feel like you're someone who wants to be in a place where you can give to charities, especially that you really feel uh, drawn and connected to, to be able to help people of a lesser nature that can't help themselves. I feel like you have a really good heart, um, Scorpio. But yeah, you may not be very happy though right now. And uh, this baby energy keeps coming up with the sun. Something about your happiness, you know? I just don't feel like you're completely fulfilled even though you may be in this place where you don't have to worry so much about money, but there is something about reciprocity going on here. Fool in reverse. So I feel like, you know, you decided not to play the fool in a situation. Maybe this is what you were getting. Six of Pentacles is not bad, but you know, you'd want more, you know? Um, so I feel like you're just not happy with what you've seen at this point. And so with this alignment energy, it's like, I feel like you haven't been willing to give up as well, you know, on being able to work with your intuition, your guidance, and being able to lead you to that abundance, you know? 
justice in reverse so this is an energy of that you may be thinking about feeling like maybe things haven't worked out in your favor you know that there's been <clears throat> perhaps more of a taking than a giving energy right so the empress is in reverse here 10 10 um I almost feel like some kind of miscarriage energy with this sun in reverse and empress in reverse. Like you could have had a miscarriage or lost a child or something of that nature. Maybe you feel like right now that everything is against you in any case. You know, like everything is perhaps not aligning for you, but at the same time, maybe things that are happening are helping you to be able to get into the alignment with spirit by saying no and turning down you know certain offers or not going backwards or going back to people you know that you already know that you can't trust perhaps or you know how they are and what their tendencies might be right and that's only gonna most likely lead you back into a place of unhappiness and out of alignment once again Two of Pentacles in reverse. I do feel like you're going to get control of, of this situation and you're not going to keep going back and forth on this. You are going to make a decision and you are going to put yourself back out there, which is really beautiful to see, all right? And you're going to know exactly what opportunities to take advantage of, what you need to hold back from for Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, what you say, need to say no to these uh, people that, especially as they see you doing well, you know, they want to come in. And they they want to come in and they want to get you pregnant. They want to lock you down. But they, it's because they see abundance with you. But, you know, they're not necessarily thinking about how they can be uh, of abundance to you. You know what I mean? And there be a fair situation going on here. I feel like this person, like, gives the least but maybe expects the most but definitely you're wanting a lot more than what you have gotten in the past that's what i see six of pentacles yeah so maybe this has been worrying you a lot like why are things not why am i not reaching that state of abundance that queen of pentacles energy you know it's like maybe it's just a state of mind that spirit is talking about here you know that just allowing yourself just like in your imagination when you're seeing yourself connecting with that grid on the outside of the earth that electromagnetic field right um, it's really talking about making that same connection within yourself and just trusting that process that's happening even if it doesn't seem like things are going as quickly as you'd like for it to go right um, but there may need to be adjustments made so that these things can line up for you. You know what I mean? But that alignment is mostly coming and stemming from within your own self. Sun in reverse. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, you know, even though you may have said no to this situation, I do feel like there's a... A good feeling within yourself of knowing yourself and your worth and I think being okay with saying no also to something that you know is truly not going to bring you the happiness that you know you deserve full in reverse with two of swords in reverse so yeah it was clear to you I feel that there was more work that needed to be done to get this balance and alignment in place, right? But you didn't walk away from it. I feel like you stood through those storms. You stayed in your balance and in your alignment. You were able to stay on that rock, right? To be that rock for yourself until you figured it out. All right, and now, now is the alignment part, you know? Easier said than done, right? So with the justice card, we have the world in reverse. So justice in reverse, world in reverse. So 
and maybe feeling like it's hard for you to start a new cycle when you feel like there's so much that perhaps you're not feeling compensated for for all that you put in it's like you may be fearful about starting a, a new cycle of belief and trust in the universe because you know up until now a lot of things may be happening that don't necessarily make you feel so abundant but at the same time you do know that you're worthy of all of this again there may be that process happening behind the scenes it's all what seems like a catastrophe kind of thing what seems like a, an l or a loss is actually something that's working out fabulously in your favor because maybe somebody couldn't go with you in this situation because you know they weren't going to act right they weren't going to be the right one so it may seem like an injustice but you know even though it may have caused you a little bit of a setback i feel like this is a great opportunity right now for you to get back in that alignment for things to happen the right way for you three of wands in reverse for scorpio King of Wands in reverse, yeah. He basically said, hit the road, Jack. <laughs> and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Right? No more controlling people. You've got that gate closed and padlocked and <laughs> whatever. All right, Eight of Swords in reverse. Ooh. You definitely got your boundaries up against somebody. You're going to let him know what's up if you ever see him again, too. I feel like you have a lot to say to somebody since you now see things so much more clearly, right? And you're going to be more honest with people in the future is what I see, too. You're not going to, you know, act like you're ignoring the white elephant in the room or that something's okay when it really isn't, you know, that kind of thing. Nine of Cups in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. So, you know, you may have to wait a little bit longer, make a plan towards uh, working within that alignment aspect to bring in that perfect cup, if you will, and get that Ten of Cups. Right now, though, um, you know, just be aware of the right choices. Be honest with yourself and about who you are letting in, right? Because this is like, you know, you're building something much bigger than most people are especially when you're tapping into this oracle energy right definitely psychic abilities are being kicked up and you're definitely being given the green light to go <laughs> green light with the oracle and the jade stone yeah definitely all right you're seeing what you need to see two of pentacles in reverse yes you are definitely clear about what your happiness is how that you know is going to come about for you or what that looks like for you and as you tap into that energy more you're just going to continue to create and build it and before you know it you're going to be there like whoa how did this happen right definitely hit the like button and let me know below how this is resonating with you wow scorpio this is quite amazing it seems like we are all going through um, our own individual challenges, you know, of that birthing and coming out of the cocoon with the worm energy, right? And early bird gets the worm. I mean, there's so many ways you can look at this stuff. But anyway, what's coming out in Moonology for advice for Scorpio? A time to give rather than take new moon and Virgo energy, right? Time to give and love yourself. Give to your dreams, you know, give of your energy to all that you're creating. Become completely uh, a part of that process, just like you would if you were creating a baby, right? everything is going into that and the same thing should be true of everything that you're creating it should be that intimate right you should dream about it and how wonderful it's going to be that's why you get nine months to do it you know with uh, being pregnant emotions are running high yes these could be good feeling emotions especially as you keep tapping in 
and getting those messages and knowing that you are right, that you are seeing things clearly and you're seeing the outward appearance of it as well being manifested in many ways. You are very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. How beautiful is that? You're seeing things so much more clearly. And I feel like you are starting to really feel um, that you're on the right path, going in the right direction. Yeah, you're going to know exactly what you need to do. Maybe right now it's just making a plan to get back on the right track within yourself. And then we can worry about love, right? And <laughs> start navigating that again. What is going on here? Wow, that card's spitting out at me. <laughs> so we got a forgiveness energy coming out here today. So definitely a need for some forgiveness. Stop blaming, or sorry, stop wasting. Let me make sure I'm reading that right. There we go. Stop, <laughs> stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you what? Think, dream, and imagine. So what is it? You need to align with that, all right? If someone kicked you to the curb or left you behind, didn't see your value or worth, or wanted to control you, well, then the right he, they weren't the right one, you know? And you wanna be with the right one, right? So let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. No control, we don't want that, all right? And then we have, you may not always understand why certain things happen, however, there is always a higher purpose, right? We just gotta trust. Bigger and better things are coming towards us. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Wait for it, Scorpio. You are being shown exactly what it is, darling. Trust in what you are seeing. Trust in the steps you are being guided to take. So you can charge forward, my dear Scorpios. Are you ready to get an answer to your question? Let's do it, shall we? In three, two, one. All right, guys, the answer today is yes. Love it. I hope that was the answer you needed, Scorpio. Do you have an amazing week ahead? Love you so much. Hit that like button, subscribe, bell notification. Let me know below how this resonated. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.